Now let's look at the language focus on page 144. We have some choice questions. We have choice questions where we need to ask and give two choices and we want to show you how to make the questions in the grammar and then we'll also practice how to pronounce them and change our intonation. So when we talk about when we talk about asking questions, we can ask the question and give them a choice between two things. So here are some sentence patterns to give a toddler a choice. The first one uses, do you want noun one or noun two? For example, do you want the crayons or the Play-Doh? All right, so that they get to choice. To choose, they can choose, verb choose. They can make a choice, noun choice. They can make a choice between crayons or Play-Doh. You can ask another one. Do you want milk or water with your lunch? Just choose one of those. We can also use do you want to, verb one or verb two, for example. Do you want to paint a picture or read a book? Do you want to go to the park or play in the backyard? So that's an option um, that, the, that a toddler could choose. You can also say, what do you want to do? What do you want to plus a verb? <laughs> or <laughs> for example, what do you want to do? Play on the swing or go down the slide? What do you want to have for lunch? Pasta or rice? Now, another pattern is what noun? Do you want to plus verb da 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 or da 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 da? For example, what story do you want to read? Good night, moon or the runaway bunny? What shoes do you want to wear? The blue ones or the black ones? Now, did you notice when I ask the question, my intonation goes up on the first and down on the second? So this time, I'll say them again. Listen and repeat. Put your stress on the two choices. Use rising on the first one and falling on the second one. Are you ready? Ready. All right. Do you want the crayons or the Play-Doh? Do you want the do you want milk or water with your lunch? Do you want to paint a picture or read a book? Do you want to go to the park or play in the backyard? What do you want to do? Play on the swing or go down the slide? What do you want to have for lunch? Pasta or rice? What story do you want to read? Good night, moon, or the runaway bunny? What shoes do you want to wear? The blue ones or the black ones? Okay, now activity 17 is a role play where you're communicating 
with toddlers. So one student is an adult and the other student is a toddler who can say simple words and sentences. So I'd like you and a partner to act out these situations with possible solutions. Use the words and structures that we've been learning in these activities. Some, um, for example, we have five situations. And the first one is like this. Susan, a toddler, is sitting in her high chair. Her daughter, sorry, her child care provider, Fatima, is trying to help, trying to help her eat. But Susan does not want help. She keeps trying to grab the fork out of Fatima's hand. What should Fatima do? The second situation. Chris, a toddler, is getting dressed with the help of Liz, a caregiver. Chris has red socks and blue socks. Liz starts to put Chris's red socks on. He starts to cry. What should Liz do? Third situation, Eric, a toddler, brings a storybook to his father. He wants to hear a story, but it is his nap time. What should Eric's father do? The fourth situation, Kim is hungry and wants a cookie and some juice. Her mother is busy folding laundry. What should Kim's mother do? The fifth situation, Alan is going to childcare with his father in a few minutes. He's all dressed, but it's raining outside. He has a raincoat to wear. What should his father do? Okay, there are five situations. This time, you and your partner will act them out.